Hey everyone, it is end of August and it is overcast and rainy today. So I thought it would be just a wonderful, calm, quiet time to kind of walk around the garden and, and show you the greenhouse, which is finally in. Um, there's so much work to do, but I'm just so excited to share the greenhouse with you guys and I don't want to wait any longer. So I'm going to start here at the back garden. Things have really filled in. As you can see, I've got beautiful sunflowers at the gate here, at the fence here. And I have some hyacinth bean on the arbor again. This year I planted purple hyacinth bean and white. I wanted to try something a little bit different. I've never planted the white variety and they are just so, so pretty. They have these green limey color seed pods and I just think it is so beautiful. And the purple are just starting to come into bloom now. And don't be shy about pinching this plant or, you know, trimming out any of the tendrils that grow out like that. It's going to fill in for sure and forgive you. So if you find it's becoming overwhelming, don't feel bad or afraid to trim this plant because I've trimmed it a bunch and it's blooming like crazy. So, okay, so let's go through here. You guys know that this year, you can see I still haven't mulched here and I still have a bunch to do. You can see the difference between the mulched side and the unmulched side. I kind of put everything on hold for the greenhouse. Um, but look how much things have changed from last year in this area. Oh, it just looks so wonderful. I put uh, tons of perennials in and the row of the sprinter boxwood which were just tiny, tiny, tiny little sprigs. Um, they were the quart size and look how much they have bulked up this year. I can't wait to get the mulch in here, but I have some landscape lights I'm gonna put in to mirror this side. I have a little up light on the urn here. Some cone flowers, you can see allium. Um, I've got a lot of nepeta in here, the cat's pajamas and the rock and play and the blue salvia there in the back, which I also have in the urn there. Oh, I just, I just think everything looks so full and beautiful right now. And on this side, I have really just a lot of Queen Anne's lace that I planted in winter sowing in the milk jug containers. And these have mostly all gone to seed right now. And even the seed heads are so cool looking. I absolutely love this plant. They are very aggressive self-seeders, um, which I think is great, and I hope it fills in this area for next year. I have some foxgloves I planted from Seed Under Grow Lights this year, and they are putting on some blooms right now, which I just think is always amazing to see something like that bloom in the first year. And then this is Rudbeckia maxima, kind of mixed in with the sunflowers. Mark built me this to tour and I absolutely love, love, love it. I had my sweet peas on it in earlier spring and now I have Thumbergia and I have some um, Heavenly Blue, I couldn't remember the name, Heavenly Blue Morning Glories, which have just kind of sprung up here. I love the Heavenly Blue and then I've got some Moonflower on here as well. So it's looking really, really pretty. And then this is one of my favorite shrubs that I planted this year. This is Dapper Lavender Dwarf Butterfly Bush. And boy, it is so beautiful. That one is by Baluma Bowls. I plan on planting more of these this year, I think, um, because I just love them. I put another one on this side that's kind of getting covered up by the sunflowers here. I planted some Invincible Limetta Hydrangeas. And that's the allium. Those are some more of the foxgloves are starting to droop. It's actually starting to drizzle right now. But I love the way this urn came together this year, you guys. It just looks so beautiful. You might remember last year, I just had one raised bed in this space. And then I had a huge mock orange right here, which I removed this year. It was very difficult to do. And um, that's gone. And I've been able to now fill in with so many more beautiful perennials and shrubs. So I'm really excited about that. I have some David Austin roses in here, Olivia Austin, that are just absolutely <laughs> engulfed with all sorts of other flowers right now. And they were baby plants. So 
I anticipate next year they'll do a bit better. These incredible sunflowers, there's only three of them here. They are just an incredible plant. I very rarely deadhead and um, they just really just take off. The window box is looking pretty okay. It's it's seen better years. It's got some diamond frost euphorbia and um, a bunch of other, of other things in there. Some petunias you can see. And um, I put some geraniums in there that haven't been doing the best. Some angelonia kind of popping up over there. It's really starting to rain right now. Echinacea purpurea here. Absolutely love this one. This is new for me this year too. But things are looking good. It's still kind of in a... I don't know, in a state where I still have some things to plant. So I didn't want to waste any time because I figured if I waited any longer, it would be fall. So I wanted you to see everything the way it is right now. My fig had a bit of a problem. I think it got fig rust because we get lots of rain and humidity here. You can even see some little spots here, but the leaves got yellow and a lot of them dropped. But right now it's flushing out some new leaves, which is great. And I have a few figs on here. I had a bunch more, but they were eaten by squirrels and birds early on. The espalier apples are doing great. I had a bit of a disease issue with this one here and I was really concerned and I pruned it all back and there's new life on it right now. There's new little buds pushing out. So that just makes me so happy. Really, really glad because I thought I might have to reconfigure this. Otherwise, they're doing great and I have one apple. <laughs> I have one apple on there right now. Um, there. Uh, it's a gala and I'm excited. But the zinnias have been doing fantastic. You can see I have my cords and my drip here because I am planning on hooking up those landscape lights really soon. And the dahlias are looking great. So happy with them. I apologize if things are very overcast right now, but it is raining. I didn't think it was going to rain this soon and here I am in the rain. I have to deadhead some of these but they have just been absolutely gorgeous and yes you can see I'm so excited the new view in the back there oh I love it so much you guys I want to hurry up and breeze through here so I can show you guys the greenhouse I'm so excited Mark and I worked so hard this year so this is a cafe au lait and this is a breakout it's getting a little funky from the rain I have some that were mislabeled this year and that's okay. So pretty. This yellow is a Kelvin floodlight, I can tell, but it was supposed to be a breakout and I don't really care. <laughs> They're all pretty. Another cafe au lait. I planted some phlox that's been doing fabulous. It's just starting to die out now, but another whole batch of dahlia is about to come into bloom. That was uh, the bed that I had the potatoes in and I had a bunch of tubers that I didn't plant and I figured I'd plant them in there. So more blooms to come. Asparagus, I have some snapdragons in here that I started from seed, they're kind of flopping. And some borage. The zinnias have just been amazing this year. Some tomatoes out here. I really did neglect the backyard quite a bit um, with all the construction. You can see how empty this bed looks here because I'm planning on really re revamping that and re-landscaping that and doing a whole path up to the greenhouse. Um, we did add this little bistro set there and I spray painted it that off-white Dover white color and I just think it looks so pretty there next to the greenhouse. You know I've got all this beautiful border here with all the dahlias and the lavender. I have um, some wave petunias that I started from seed that are doing really really well. Those are super petunia white and my goodness they are just a wonderful wonderful petunia. I love them. Um, but this side I really really let go and that's okay because now I get to do something new and, and make it all kind of cohesive and, and look like a really nice pathway to the greenhouse. So here it is, you guys. A couple months of hard work laying the foundation and taking down the shed. And I feel it is so worth it. I'm so, so happy with the outcome. 
uh, Mark was amazing, amazing, and it truly was a team effort. You know, I was, he took down um, the shed himself. I give him full credit on that, but I was up there with him every step of the way on a ladder, holding glass in place. The whole greenhouse is glass, by the way. I've had a couple people ask me if it was, uh, you know, polycarbonate or glass, and it is a glass house. This is by BC Greenhouses, and they are a wonderful company. They helped us every step of the way. Their builders there were on the line with me and Mark, guiding us through if we had any questions. Um, just so super helpful. Um, but I'm just so happy with it. I have some baskets of dahlias and plants. I just kind of pushed along the side here while we're retweaking. You can see I've got drip irrigation and some things still need to be done. I need to redefine the border and really kind of make it all look good. This is the park side. I'm not sure that I said that. This is the park side and it's eight by 10. Eight by 10 interior, so the exterior dimensions are slightly larger. It's right about the size that my potting shed was, but the pitch obviously is higher than the pitch that was on my potting shed. And the pitch also matches that of the now shed. This is our shed now and what I use as a shed. So I thought that was really important to have the same kind of pitch and um, have them look like they are you know, kind of connected style-wise. I have some boxwoods I'm gonna plant here. They're just sitting in the pots right now and in, inside of the nursery cans, but I'm so excited. Welcome to the greenhouse, you guys. I was just in here straightening up a little bit. I already have some plants in. I love lighting and it's so important to me to have really, really nice lighting. So this is all electric plug-in. Um, I try and get a little handy with setting up electric. So, you know, I'm always trying for that. I was able to bring in one of my little desk lamps I've had for so many years, but I think the view with the rain coming down and looking through the side window here, it's so pretty. I'm so excited. Um, Mark installed these floating shelves. What's nice about this greenhouse is there's a track system in here where you can slide in bolts and attach anything you want. So he hung up these shelves for me last weekend. And I also have some little eye bolts that can go into the top of the, um, into the top of the rafters here and be able to hang hanging baskets, uh, any kind of plants or anything I want. So still have a little bit more I wanna work on there. But for right now I have, you know, a good collection of my pottery in here. My Wakefield handmade, you know, I love Peter's work and some row pottery. I also collect the salt glaze. And as for plants, I have a little rosemary here. This is a phenomenal fig. So it's a tabletop fig. It's, a, it's, it's very, very small. I have two of those. Um, and what else? Some herbs. This is a little geranium. I did just pick the flower off. One I grew from seed and a little basil plant. Um, let's see, this is gem box that I'm trying to keep as little topiaries. I think they're very cute. And I've got some of my tomatoes I brought in here too. The tomatoes are looking so-so. Mm, they were looking kind of shabby out in the vegetable garden and they're looking a little bit better now that I have them in here. So I have a few varieties in here. It'll be so nice. Um, I have some Meyer lemons and uh, you know the figs and things. And I really wanna to start to incorporate more citrus um, in the winter time. It'll be so nice and toasty. I do have a legit greenhouse heater that I'll be setting up in the winter time. Uh, when it's the evening time, it looks so pretty with the lights. You know what? I'm gonna come back out here in the evening just so you can see what it looks like all lit up at night. I have a little strawberry here. And it's just really everything that I had hoped for. And then some, it'll be so nice to come out here at the workbenches. Those are also from BC Greenhouse. Uh, we've been saving up for a while and 
you know, as far as pricing goes, I definitely encourage you to go to their website because I have custom options here, like this back vent and some things that differ uh, from what you might want. Uh, this Parkside model actually comes stock in black. So if you wanted white or if they have a green color as well, you would have to ask them, you know, the pricing for that, but they have a build your own greenhouse feature where you can select options that you like. And there's more options than just the park side. So many choices and so many options. So, um, I, so I definitely encourage you to head over to their website. They have a live chat there where I really found that to be useful. And I talked to a lot of the staff there and asked them many questions. They are just so accommodating and will help you in any way. So I'm really, really happy with these cedar benches. They look beautiful and it'll be so functional and fantastic when I have the, uh, when I do some of my seeds starting in here. So that's it, you guys. I don't want to go on too, too long, but you can tell I'm excited. I'm very, very excited. I can't wait to plant around the perimeter, even outside of the greenhouse. I have some hostas and things out here on the side that I'm ready to get planting. I'm really getting rained on right now, but I will do a little video showing what it looks like lit up at night so you can see, but it was totally worth the effort, totally worth taking up the summer uh, for this project, and I just couldn't be happier with it. And I can't wait to keep you guys posted on everything that I plant here and the garden as it evolves and changes around. Hope you guys are enjoying the end of your summer and having just wonderful memories in your gardens. And thank you so much for joining me in this and so many garden adventures. Thanks so much, guys. Hope you have a great day.